New and only on four, new data released by the Valley AIDS Council shows that a surprising group of people are testing positive for the HIV virus. CBS 4's Annalise Ortiz explains. Last year, 83 people over the age of 55 tested positive for HIV here at the Valley AIDS Council. That demographic is something new for them. There aren't many senior citizens who would think about walking into an HIV testing clinic like this one. I don't know if I would get tested. I think I know who uh, my you know, mates would be if I chose a mate. But according to data from the Valley AIDS Council, that's a mistake. 43% of people in the Rio Grande Valley who tested positive for HIV last year are over the age of 55. Well, it surprises me because where we come from, we don't think of ourselves as being AIDS carriers. Dr. Ruben Martinez says there are many factors that are contributing to the increased risk of HIV in senior citizens. Females have gone through the menopause. I'm not afraid of getting pregnant. So they have unprotected sex and they have multiple partners. He says the idea that sex sells is also being used in advertisements that target elderly people. Look at all the commercials. So everything is sexualized. And, you know, sex doesn't end at 45. The new demographic presents a new challenge for the Valley AIDS Council. We have to change our messaging and where we're reaching out to. The problem is that our funding sources are always going to be about two years behind our data. The state grants that fund the Valley AIDS Council only target drug users, the gay community, and youth. The council is searching for alternative sources of revenue to help them get the word out about HIV prevention to the elderly. In the meantime, they encourage anyone who is sexually active, regardless of age, to get tested. To find out your status, you can visit any of the Valley AIDS Council locations in McAllen, Brownsville, or Harlingen. In Harlingen, Annalise Ortiz, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.